How's it going, everyone? I'm just shooting you a, uh, <laughs> showing you my workstation, which is a bit of a mess, but uh, I'm shooting you an update video on the rest of this device. I've showed you um, the complete workings of this device as it is. And I've showed a number of different ways for it to be configured. This is the way I finalized and landed with. I built a capacitor network in the right way. It's been a lot of work, a cool adventure. Um, so this is the first overtone resonator. This is the fundamental. This was another wire that was coming out to go to this amplifier of amps transformer. I'm working on in the background and for DC but what I'm showing you the table about now is I'm making the harmonic resonator so it's the next step up the ladder so to speak and I'll go through a real brief description now of the harmonic resonator so we have our fundamental frequency here this is all kind of LC um, Resonance, so we've got capacitors here to switch The fundamental length of wire we have no resistance We have our inductance we have our compact capacitance So I'm leaving resistance out of the entire equation until we get to the end and that sets the operating frequency of the Harmonizer which is what this is going to become So this wire here now is twice the length of this wire so 80 inches, 160 inches. That makes this wire harmonically the first overtone. It's twice the fundamental. So um, the next wire, what I've got here, all these wires, I'm just uh, finishing soldering them. Um, the next wire is going to be the fundamental again with the resonator circuit, with a network like this. So that now the undertone is resonating the fundamental is resonating, and I have a third wire here at 40 inches, which will be the first harmonic, or the first undertone. So, it will also be resonating. So, I have three resonators on one core, and I'm going to take, because I couldn't do it all on two wires on one core, this is where figure three comes in, but I decided to take a few steps forward. I will add the same resonator resonator network on the opposite ends of the coil. So uh, the output on this one right now is hooked up to my uh, coil stack, my pancake coil stack, which I'm not going to get into right now. I have it matched uh, for the output of this, and this is a different length of wire and everything else. It took two capacitors to bring that into resonance with the signal that this whole thing is resonating at. Now this brings it through this in, in its entirety. So, but this is later. Uh, I'm just played with it today because I was pondering on this and I came up with the, like I've just said, the harmonizer where once all these three tanks, um, these resonator tanks are in, in all hooked up and all working, they will get wired from the, the, the input comes in through here on this one. It goes to the resonator circuit and then it comes out the output. This output will then go into the, this side will then go into the input of the next resonator circuit. So then it'll bounce through and I'll have a, another capacitor bank over here on the fundamental resonator. And then it'll come out of that, go through the windings to the next, this next node on the second winding on top of this. So there's going to be a winding, a smaller winding, and a smaller winding on both sides and they will all be hooked up with this and I'm going to call it the harmonizer and at that point I can literally just do a DC pulse and ring my bell. Ciao.